Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Uh, I'm here today with sketch number two from Kendra's Card Challenge 3. Um, remember, if you join in, be sure and tag your uh, lovely cards on Instagram, Facebook and our YouTube and tag them just with hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 3 to be in with the chance of winning the fabulous, fabulous prizes that Kendra has up on offer. So make sure you do all 16 cards, I think it is this time. Right, we're on number two. On number two, we got given paper A, which is this light pink piece here, which measures one and a quarter by five inches. And we also got the red piece, which is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So this is what I ended up with from my paper cuts. Um, I'm going to keep the stripes going this way and I'm keeping the wee wavy lines going this way and you have an extra piece here that you can add and you have the backing part that you can add. This time I did add it if you see from card number one I didn't. I just used the base of the card. This time I have cut it out in oh what do you call this? It is petal pink and I have drawn lines on my embossing board as I showed you before just quick and easy because I hate having flat card behind I just like to emboss it either with a, an embossing folder or by myself on my board so that's what I've done this piece measures well it would measure four and a quarter by five and a quarter for Kendra's mine is slightly smaller it's four by five and three eighths because our cards are slightly smaller so this is what's going to go first and I'm going to place this one on next as you can see sorry I didn't mean to make this bigger as you can see it goes in on top of this so we're going to stick these in place first and then work from there so I'll stick it on hopefully I have some glue left here not going out too much because I always end up oozing out the sides but I thought this was a good match for my piece of paper this one um, just a bit brighter rather than going too dark so we're going to stick this one on top and I could have used either side because it does tone in beautifully uh, on the back of all our papers it tells you exactly what card tones in with it which keeps you right so um, this one I've gone with the petal pink which I think is the wee colour in the back there in the waves now I want this over a wee bit and um, you can see Kendra has put it here but I want it to sort of be central to my parcel I think this is a parcel isn't it so that looks okay to me make sure it's straight and it has a nice wee bit of texture there now this bit goes here and you have to add a bow or a, an embellishment of some sort I decided to go with a crinkle ribbon but I didn't want it white I wanted to show up nicely to match the color above as close as I could get I don't have terracotta tile I do have the ink but I don't have the blends so this one is Dark Calypso, which is as close as I'm going to get, and I'm happy enough with it. So I've just went along, I'll just show you on the scrap of paper here. I've went along with a marker, um, just using the, the sound, I can't remember the name of it, uh, and just add the ink. This marker's nearly done, so it's not too abrasive. So I'd say give yourself a good wee bit about a foot I'd say 12 inches of ribbon so that you can tie a wee um, bow and what your your best pet of doing I think is getting I'm getting the boat here as you can see I broke a piece off oh I'll cry I'm gonna have to buy a new set now so it leaves my sort of lopsided unless I forget about this one so a bit bad on my half but what can you do so I'm gonna make myself a bow as I said Ground this edge one here and then in one here. And just tie that off. Uh, I didn't tell you what that ribbon was. That ribbon is, what do we call you? 
um, Whisper White. Well, of course, you have to go to the other side, which is daft, isn't it? Where are you? Crinkle Seam Binding Ribbon in Whisper White. So that is going to form my bow, but it has no tails because I want to wrap it around this. If I can get it to on crispy itself here. So it'll be wrapped around. I'm going to stick it around the back. Is what I'm thinking. What do you think? And it'll be sitting like so. But now that I see it, I'm not too sure. I think I would prefer a wee bow. So we're going to change again. So we'll tie a smaller bow. If you if you have one of these, you can measure how many you want to go out. So I think I'm going to go out to four. And just make a wee bow and then I'm going to wrap it separate. Because I think the tails are actually nicer. So it's worth your while trying things before you decide what works best. Now where's number four? One, two, three, four. Four. So about that size of a bow is going to work for me and I'll still have a wee bit left to do the wrapping. Have I done that right? It's one, two, three, four, five. Twit. Over we go. Pop it in. It's going to be one of them evenings, isn't it? So tie this up in a smaller bow with tails this time. This um, crinkle seam binding is so staticky and clingy when you're working with it and actually putting the collar into it has helped to stiffen it a wee bit from it. So right there's our bow. We're going to chop off a wee bit and this is going to actually stick on top of my wrap around. So we're going to wrap this one around here like so. I'm just going to use a bit of turn tape so that it'll keep them nice and straight so I want the stripes all running as I said I wonder what it looked better and the bow going across no I don't know hmm decisions decisions I think I'm going to stick to what I had in mind I'll put it in the center of it, I hope. Wrap that round the back. And we'll just wrap the piece of extra ribbon on top of it. Oh, come on. You did not peel off very well for me at all. Now, we have a wee bit here. I'm going to set it on top of this because otherwise it'll stick to my paper. Like so. So we can wrap that round and trim off the excess. And then I sort of reckon that this may, might be nice sitting um, raised up. I'm not sure. I actually think that I should have inked up the edges, which I'm actually going to do now to give it a wee bit of definition. Make it stand out a wee bit more. I hate doing it with the blend marker because it bleeds into the paper sometimes if you're a wee bit slow on it as I did here but it's not too bad on the other so that's another idea for you inking up your edges just to if you're not um, matting and layering it you might need a wee something so I'm going to stick this down flat and hope for the best oh come on So according to that, this comes down a wee bit, sort of in the centre, and again I can use my embossing lines to keep my nice and straight. And then this baby is going to go on with so many glue dots.
oops and we're just sticking it to the center and then fixing our wee boat no it's a wee ratty bow isn't it <laughs> So what we need now is our extra shape here and that would be entirely up to you whether to put a sentiment or a flower or a cake or whatever kind of sentiment or whatever kind of decoration you want. I have decided to go with the sentiment and I'm going to put it here in the matching um, doodah but I'm raising it up to give it a wee bit of oomph. So I've punched that out in a, a punch that unfortunately is no longer available, but I am sure you all have punches that you could circle punch or whatever. Um, it comes from the Oval Occasions set, and you get the double punch in it. You may pick it up somewhere. Somebody could be selling it, a, another demonstrator could be selling it off. So keep your eyes peeled for it. It's definitely worth getting. Um, I'm going to use the Happy Birthday I'm just going to go in the terracotta tie, but we need to punch out our sentiment, and this will just sit in here. So, happy birthday it is. That was fairly painless one other than me making mistakes. I think I'll just stick that on flat because I've raised the bottom bit. Oh, this is glue. You want to rub that with your finger like I showed you the last time if you don't mind getting messy. Then we could put some wee um he does to brighten it up or set it up. Maybe a wee gem or something. I'm not sure about a gem. See what else we have. We'll colour those. Mmm, the bottom will make it alright. So we'll just use two wee tiny ones which kind of tone in with this colour. One at either side. And that just so plain and simple card, but for this I think I would turn it on the inside I would turn it into a gift vault rather than a card because I think it's a wee bit the way I've decorated isn't as birthday as I'd like. You could actually put a wee birthday cake down the corner or you know something to brighten it up a wee bit or add something to it. Unless you turn it like myself, I'm going to turn it into a wallet. I'm going to do the same cream card on the inside so that I can slip something in and just a wee sentiment there. So I'll maybe have a picture of that when it's finished. So that is it. Number two is done. Very simple. Two pieces of card and then whatever you want to add to it. So hope you'll join in and I'll catch you all again later. Bye.